you this morning? Good. Good. How do you want to be greeted? You want to do a high five, a handshake, a hug? How do you want to do a hug? Okay, let's do a hug. Oh, good morning. It was a good morning for these Slate Run Elementary School students and teachers. Tuesday morning marked day one of the 2021-2022 school year. And this year is the first time these halls will include pre-K students. It's absolutely invaluable for the students to be in person. Um, they need to see it, touch it, experience it, and really interact with the learning. I spoke with Principal Amy Nehemiah before the first kids arrived. She says last year ended with only 8% of kids choosing to learn virtually. But now we have 100% of our boys and girls coming back to school. To keep the kids safe, there is also hand sanitizer and disinfecting wipes in the cafeteria, as well as these social distancing reminders labeled on the seats. We're a hands-on school. The high schoolers at Prosser Career Education Center are back now, too, with record-breaking enrollment around 1,600 kids. Uh, we have a, approximately 24 programs that range from heavy equipment operators to network and cybersecurity. We also have a culinary, cosmetology, diesel, auto tech, and the list goes on and on and on. The career and technical program director says they are encouraging everyone to wear masks, especially unvaccinated students. But he says these lessons are best taught in person. I think about our heavy equipment operators, very difficult to learn that from a simulator, it's best to be on a bulldozer. The bus is revved before sunrise. Masks are federally required on these, and the district's transportation director says they'll disinfect the seats daily. Not doing the hybrid schedule this year. I believe we'll have more riders. In New Albany, Barvis Herring, WLKY 